sorry. Nope, redo. <laughs> All right, guys, so I want you to meet a really good friend of mine. Hey, guys, so super cool video coming to you. We are out on Main Street. It's just really short. I love how people mysteriously get on their phones as soon as they see us. All right, so schools, Greenville, South Carolina. Uh, so when I get asked this question, I usually send you to two resources that I think are really great. And I'm gonna be referencing them throughout the video because this is where we get the information from. Uh, so Aubrey, what are the best schools to look into? Or what, air, what are the schools like in this area? And here's just some quick information. Um, so I got this information from greatschools.org and they are a independent nonprofit that does national school rate rankings. And when you look at their website, you just go up to the top, search the, the town, the city that you're looking at moving to, and it'll give you a full list of all of the schools in the area. And as long as there's enough data there from the rankings, we also will look into um, like what they, they rank from one to 10. And so we're, we're going to talk through like, okay, so you're looking at Greenville and how do they calculate these school rankings? So first you will see when you go to their page, uh, something called a summary ranking. And that ranking comes off of four different sets of data. Um, so it's student progress, the academic progress, equity rating, and then test scores. And then they take an average of those test scores. And that's how you get the school ranking. Now, um, they're also ranked as if they are seven to 10 ranking, they're above average. If they are about four to six, they're average ranked. And if they're below four, that one to three, they're below average. So just a little bit of information as you're looking at this website, how to read it um, and what to look into. Uh, another cool thing about the website is um, you can go and for example, um, let's talk about Greenville specifically. So Greenville County, so the Greenville County School Districts has over 76,000 students currently in its uh, student population. And that is across uh, 93 different schools. And here in the area, that's not just the public schools, it's also the charter schools. And uh, so you'll wanna know that there's a lot that goes in here, into this um, ranking system. Now, another website that I looked at that I think was, uh, that is very good to look into is um, kiddingaroundgreenville.com. And their website will also give you a, um, what to know about Greenville County Schools. Um, they actually noted in their articles about Greenville County Schools that they are top rated in the state. So, that gave me some comfort as a parent as well. Uh, so definitely look at that website. So um, when I was doing more research and to be able to tell you about these schools, um, so greatschools.org uh, gave me some pretty interesting information about the Greenville County Schools um, and specifically gave me the top ranked schools in the elementary system, the middle school system, and the high school system that just were on their page. So greatschools.org said that elementary schools, the top five, and I'm just gonna list them off real fast, um, were Powdersville, Green Charter, Augusta Circle, and Pelham Road. And those are all um, elementary schools. And I'll put the link to where I found this information in the, um, in the description of this video. That way you can go look at it yourself. It's right there. 
Uh, it'll also give you other rankings of schools if you're looking at a specific area. Um, if you want to be in Taylor's or Greer or if you want to be in Traveler's Rest or Easley, um, you can put in those towns and they'll pop up. So again, for elementary school, um, I thought that was great to give me just a good idea of those schools. Now, um, I also have the middle school uh, rank, uh, top five written down here that greatschools.org says and high school. So for middle school, that was Langston Middle, Green Charter, Severe Middle, Powdersville Middle, and then Sterling Middle School. And then after that, the high schools. And the high schools here in the area, their school districts cover a lot of, a lot of area. So for high school, you have the governor's school and they have a very low student, um, like overall student population because they're very specific about who they let into that school. But take a look at it, it's a super cool program. Um, then you also have Greenville Tech Charter, Powdersville School District, again for high school, and then Wade Hampton. And Wade Hampton was, and I noticed this on the website, has the most high school students in that top five list. And they're rated on the website. Um, so a couple other things that you need to know about schools here in the upstate is that there's also a school choice program. Um, you'll hear it called um, the school lottery program. And this is something that I found really interesting and I found on the Kidding Around Greenville website. It's such a great resource. I'll make sure I put that link in the description of the video as well. Um, so go to Kidding Around Greenville and you'll actually find that they have linked uh, the different forms for school choice. I will also put those links in the description of this video. So say you move to, the, to an area and you would like to give your child options of schools to go to. So you want to do the school lottery system. Now what this does is it gives you the uh, opportunity to request your child to be in up to three different schools of choice. And I understand like you put your top choices number one, second, third, and so on. Now the dates for this are really important. So listen to this. Um, if you want to take advantage of the school choice form, um, those forms are due by the beginning of January. Um, so don't wait. If you get here and you want your kid to go somewhere, the earlier you get that form in, the better. Um, and then the results of the school lottery system are usually announced somewhere, I would say mid-February. And it's something where I think it's a great system. Um, and I hope it helps you out. So I hope that this video has given you um, resources that can help answer this question. Um, and it's just the facts. It's the data that these organizations have drawn together for our benefit. So you guys that are looking to relocate here, I hope this helps. Let me know if I can help or if my team can help you in any other way. And I'll catch you next time. See ya.